it's Matt from Grand Sand Betters, and I'm taking the Cleveland Browns on the money line over the Eagles. I'm going to tell you why and give you my two other bets that I'm taking for this week of preseason action. So week two is upon us in the NFL preseason, and honestly, who cares, right? Well, I care because I'm trying to make a little bit of coin before that regular season starts, and I hope you are too. I did so by cashing my ticket last Sunday on the Chiefs and the Saints over. Let's see if we can't make a little bit more money here in NFL preseason week number two. And I'm starting with the Cleveland Browns and the Philadelphia Eagles, and as I teased in the beginning, I am taking the Browns here on the money line in this one. Now, those of you that know me might say, hey, Matt, that might be a little biased on your part. And yeah, check out the jersey. Yeah, I'm a Browns fan, but hear me out on this. Betting in week two of the NFL preseason is all about position battles. And we know Deshaun Watson is going to be the starter week one of the Browns. However, DTR out of UCLA has looked great over his first two games with the Browns. And he has probably, in my opinion, overtaken Dobbs as the number two starter behind Watson on the season. Josh Dobbs has not been impressive, and I think DTR getting to start this week to see if he can prove he is backup worthy behind Watson is a big nod there by Stefanski and the organization. Dobbs not even going to dress in this one, which I think is a little surprising. Does give me hesitation after he went 8 for 16 for 77 yards that the Browns organization saw enough in him to just say, hey, you're the backup QB. I think they should give DTR a chance in this one. So it appears DTR is going to play in the first half, and we'll see Kellen Mund at least for most of the third quarter and the fourth. Now, the Browns also have a wide receiver position that has a lot of names vying to find a spot on this team. Rookie Cedric Tillman, who I actually think has already earned himself a spot, he's going to be out there for a little bit. We're also going to see more Bell, Schwartz, Goodwin, Grant. They also all need to impress to find a roster spot, especially Schwartz, who's had injuries over his first couple years. And although a Cleveland favorite, I don't think he's going to actually make this team. Week number two in the preseason is where you need to impress, and the Browns, per usual, have much more impressing they need to do than the Philadelphia Eagles. We know Hertz is going to be QB, and Mariota is going to be the backup. Those QBs uh, will not get action in this game, most likely. Uh, even if they want to impress their head coach, they're not going to be able to. Tanner McKee and former Notre Dame quarterback Ian Book uh, they're awful, and they have no shot at leapfrogging either of the QBs in front of them, but they are going to get the most action in this one. So I like the Browns. It's some good value here to go out and grab a win to help kick off a profitable week. Now on Saturday, I'm looking at the Jets versus the Bucks game in prime time. I'm taking over 36 and a half points here. At the moment, I really don't have a list in front of me of who's playing, who's not playing, but I can't imagine if some of the starters do even suit up, they're going to play any more than a series in this one. So again, I'm looking at position battles and behind Aaron Rodgers, there really isn't much of a battle, but I do think that Zach Wilson is going to have something to prove on the field. And we kind of saw that last week versus the Panthers. Him and Boyle will get most of all the reps under center this week. And I think we're going to see a couple things from that Jets offense. First, we're going to see Wilson show us and the New York fan base that what he did against Carolina last week was no fluke. But I also think we're going to see some big runs from the Jets' backfield as well. With the signing of Dalvin Cook, that leaves one less roster spot Night die, they're trying to make this team, and I think they're going to come out in full force and pop off with some good runs. On the other side of the ball, Baker Mayfield with the Tampa Bay Bucks. He's most likely the starting QB from week one, but rookie Kyle Trask out of Florida and John Wolford, who played for the Rams a bit a year ago, they're going to battle for that backup job. And with that also comes a wide receiver position battle with a slew of rookies, including Trey Palmer. I really do think that both Trask and Wolford move the football against a Jets third and fourth string defense that don't have too many battle uh, position battles going on right now. And I know the Jets shut out the Panthers last week with their defense, but I also think Bryce Young was just horrendous in that outing, and it had also something to do with it. Wolford, he can lead an NFL offense, and I would expect this Bucks team to put up 20, 24 points especially with a little kicking battle going on between former Browns kicker Chase McLaughlin and Blankenship. So 
I like the Bucks and the Jets over 36 and a half points. Now the third bet I'm making for NFL preseason week number two is going to be in Monday Night Football. That's right, we have Monday Night Football between the Ravens and the Commanders. And as we know, the Ravens starters really don't play in the preseason. So it looks like Huntley is going to be the guy in to take the first few series of snaps with Josh Johnson and Anthony Brown to follow. Commanders, on the other hand, they need to figure out who their QB is going to be this season. Sam Howell, Jacoby Brissett, viable options. I think Jake Fromm right now is just trying to stay in the league. Now, we know the Ravens' backups uh, behind Jackson, they know what they're doing. Huntley, Johnson, a combined 16-23, to 23, two touchdowns last week for the Eagles. I know we won't know until later on the weekend who's actually starting this game for the Commanders, but with the QB situation still kind of up in the air, I think we see both QBs at least last a quarter here with maybe Fromm doing the entire second half himself. Now, I think Hal at the end of the day ends up being the week one starter over Brissett, but hey, if they end up week four and Hal is struggling, I can see Brissett overtaking that job pretty quickly. In this one on Monday night, though, I like the commanders with some talented wide receivers to make plays and find the end zone a few times versus the Ravens' defensive backups. I think this one is going to be a shootout on Monday night and give us a great finish of preseason week number two as we get that much closer to opening night in the NFL. So I'm going to try to build my bankroll up a little bit more by taking the Ravens and the Commanders over 38 and a half points here. Now make sure you hit that like button for this week's bets and subscribe for next week's bets, including week zero of college football featuring Notre Dame and the Navy midshipmen. In the meantime, sit back, relax, grab some chips, because it's time for some NFL.